couple more mind-blowing cases that I want to show you. And these, again, are works in progress. So keep in mind, these are still not finished treatments. But again, talk about something that I would have never in a million years thought about treating with Invisalign. I would look at this patient and say, you're such a beautiful girl. You've got unbelievable crowding. You've got that blocked out premolar laying down. You've got a really rotated lateral. I think you might need extractions. I don't know. But I look at her today and I go, okay, done. One year accelerated Invisalign and you're done. And so this is the kind of thing that I have now predictably treated with in my practice. And I am so confident that I will get a phenomenal outcome because I'm using Accelident with Invisalign. The two big challenges for me is that lateral, because as you all know, laterals just simply have a hard time tracking in the aligners. And of course, that premolar, it's so blocked out that we have to really think really well when we're doing our ClinCheck on the mechanics of tooth movement, the direction of tooth movement, and also what kind of mechanics and auxiliaries we're going to have to use. And I'm telling you, if you're questioning, will Invisalign work for this? I'm telling you right now, it will. And you know what I'm going to say next with Excelident. It will work. So she comes in and we have these progress records, which in my office, we take them every three months. And I'm pretty excited. I mean, I'm getting some great coordination and I'm getting some alignment. The lower anteriors are almost right on the money. And yes, we are using a lot of auxiliaries because what I've learned is that we are orthodontists. We have to think about an orthodontic treatment as what do I need to do to align the teeth and what do I need to do to coordinate the arches? If we expect braces or aligners to do this work for us without us putting in the thought, we're going to fail all the way. Whatever we need to do with braces to coordinate teeth and let and make them do what we want them to do is the same way we have to approach aligner cases. We're not going to let the aligners do the work for us. We're not going to send our case in and let Invisalign do it. We have to use Invisalign to do it for the patient. So a lot of thought has to be put into these workups and these ClinChecks and planning out mechanics of tooth movement. At this point, I look at Andrea and I think, if I erased the button and all the attachments, I would say she is pretty close to the finish line. And at seven months of treatment, you can see that her progress photos at seven months are actually almost identical to her predicted outcome. I don't know about you folks, but I think this is mind blowing when I see it. And all Andrea needs is this, at this point is literally maybe eight or 12 aligners, possibly no attachments, just to do some final finessing, final coordinating, and get those teeth in perfect position. Needless to say, she is one raving fan. And just so that we recap about severe crowding, again, why Excelident is so important is the tracking here doesn't only involve correcting that crossbite, but there are so many moving parts when you have a crossbite. You've lost space, you've lost arch length and arch distance, you've got over-erupted teeth. And